Did he tell you what you wanted to know? Did he teach you the dragon wren to shout? Well, so be it. If he believes it is necessary for you to learn this, we will bow to his wisdom. We have never concerned ourselves with the scrolls. The gods themselves would rightly fear to tamper with such things. As for where to find it, such blasphemies have always been the stock and trade of the mages of Winterhold. They may be able to tell you something about the Elder Scroll you seek. Perhaps not, but this shout was used once before, was it not? And here we are again. Have you considered that Alduin was not meant to be defeated? Those who overthrew him in ancient times only postponed the day of reckoning. Yes, yes, what is it? Can I help you with anything else? Carlia? Then she's finally found it. Do you have Gallus' journal? No problem. Let me see it. No, oh, this is just like Gallus. A dear friend, but always too clever for his own good. He's written all of the text in the Falmer language. No. However, I know someone who might. The court wizard of Markarth, Calselmo, may have the materials you need to get this journal translated. Word of warning, Calselmo is a fierce guardian of his research. Getting the information won't be easy. Oh my, how precious. Onmund is too afraid to deal with me himself, and so he sent you. I'll make this very simple for you. All my trades are final. Onmund knew this ahead of time and went through with it anyway. So there's nothing more to be said. No, no, you're not understanding this. Onmund made a deal. He made that choice, and now he has to live with it. I've already made it very clear that all... Look up. Onmund get... All right. I'll tell you a little story. Let's pretend for a moment that a certain individual was looking to acquire a particular staff. Let's also pretend that he traded some valuable items for said staff. And it was only later that it was realized that this individual might misuse such a staff. The resulting disaster would reflect quite poorly on everyone involved. You following me? You're not very good at this, are you? Look, I traded a staff to someone and found out later that was a bad idea, so I'd like the staff back. Understand now? It's an entirely different situation. I don't expect you to comprehend the nuances of these matters. Regardless, I'm making you a very simple offer. You get me the staff and I give you Onman's precious amulet. Do we have a deal? Yes. I thought we'd gotten past that bit already. Onman's amulet in exchange for my staff. Finally, we have an agreement. I look forward to having it back. The sooner the better, in fact. In time before man, they were known as the Snow Elves. They...
I... What you learn here will last you a lifetime. Several, if you're talented. Has Tolfdir been telling stories again? I thought I made it quite clear that this was a subject inappropriate for conversation. Please, don't allow him to continue to discuss the subject. Beyond asking for you, he never said. Very strange indeed. The Great Collapse, as it has come to be known. An unfortunate natural disaster that ravaged the area. The college fared far better than the city of Winterhold, but it was not left untouched. No one is sure of the cause. Some believe the eruption of Red Mountain had far-reaching consequences that were only felt years later. I know there are some who have blamed the college, said that we were responsible. I assure you this is not the case. Now if you'll excuse me.
I don't want to see you treating any of these books. There are more books to be recovered and secured in the Arcanium. All right. I wrote down the last place I'd heard about. Don't get killed. And what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? Or are you just someone's errand boy? You think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? It would be kept under the highest security. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. Of course. I'll bring everything we have on them. But it's not much. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. I have a few things laying around that weren't worth adding to the collection. You may look through them. And what do you plan to do with it? I knew it. An Elder Scroll is an instrument of immense knowledge and power. To read an Elder Scroll, a person must have the most rigorously trained mind, or else risk madness. Even so, the Divines usually take the reader's sight as a price. Ah! You think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? Fight well. Here you go. Try not to spill anything on them. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Aye, that's the work of Septimus Cygnus. He's the world's master of the nature of Elder Scrolls, but, well, he's been gone for a long while. Too long. Oh no, I hope not. But even I haven't seen him in years, and we were close. Became obsessed with the Dwemer. Took off north saying he had found some old artifact. Haven't seen him since. Somewhere in the ice fields, if you want to try to find him. Hundreds of years have gone into assembling this collection. It's going to stay pristine, understand?